This is exactly the question that the asteroid impact and deflection assessment, also known as the AIDA mission, is trying to answer. The mission is composed by two spacecraft, one from NASA, called DART, that will impact the moon of a binary asteroid system, and one from ESA, called HERA, that will study the effect of the impact. The main goal is to understand how to defend the Earth in case what destroyed the dinosaurs will happen. HERA is the European contribution to the AIDA mission and the first interplanetary mission to rendezvous with a binary asteroid system. The selected target is called Didymos. After that will have impacted on this asteroid, modifying its orbit, HERA will rendezvous with Didymos to investigate the effect of the collision and to study the composition of these bodies. These kind of deep space missions, which have to operate close to unknown bodies, have to be able to react fast to external disturbances and require highly advanced autonomous guidance, navigation and control systems. GMV leads an international consortium composed by Spain, Romania, Portugal and Poland, which together with its partners is designing what can be considered the brain that drives the HERA spacecraft. As responsible of the mission analysis and GNC subsystem, we are developing and testing a vision-based strategy which will allow the spacecraft to navigate autonomously in the vicinities of the asteroids in safety conditions. The incremental validation that we follow in order to increase the required maturity level of our technologies reaches its peak in the Platform R laboratory here in Madrid. We have recreated a real scenario of the HERA mission to test the GNC system with the maximum accuracy. Hardware in the loop tests have been performed in this robotic facility using a space qualified camera and recreating space like conditions in terms of dynamic and illumination conditions.